Nick Bryant will be our referee for this match. He's over 100 games in sevens rugby that he's uh, taken care of. Well, the Russian team, they beat Portugal, and uh, quite a convincing victory. But other than that, it's been a little bit of a battle for them. And uh, the Samoans, well, they've been a little disappointing. Some tightish matches for them, but a comfortable victory against Zimbabwe in the semi-final. So the kickoff for them comes from Tila Mialoi. Take a release! But it's the Russians now who come away with it first up. And keep an eye out for General play. Vladimir play Ostushko, the Take captain. He's uh, wearing the number one jersey. He hasn't really had opportunities to, to uh, score many tries. This is Gostyev. And still on his feet. He made his debut back in London in 2007. So he's been around a while. Hasn't played in that many tournaments. Well, the Russians we've seen in some of the games that they've played that they've started really well but faded during the game so that's one of the things they'll be working hard on and of course this being a final two is absolutely critical Yazos Frushko manages to get past the first tackle and the captain is in well, that's why he is the best player in this Russian team the captain just showing raw power <coughs> Vladimir Ostrushko <coughs> the way shy away from the physical nature of the game you can see there the Samoans flying up on defense good through the legs pass I think it was Shushkin releasing his captain and this is a one-on-one -on -one, probably a two-on-one to be filled with three defenders even around him and that doesn't matter he bumps off one and goes on the outside both like a weightlifter Shushko but he's got the legs he's got the wheels so Rudy Koshyev with uh, the attempted conversion giving it a good smack but not straight enough it's still first blood then to the russians watch him here go to work right hey, here in the power of the legs and the speed to finish lots of mind about that that bus must have been really full <laughs> think that's going to go 10 meters but, uh, the Samoans happy to play it and uh, well there might have been a knock-on yeah, Brian says uh, keep going the Russians just have a little bit more of a spark in their game than they had when they first started maybe there was a lot of nerves around too very good play there by the youngster Shushkin and uh, well the Samoans guilty of not making their first time tackles Another chance here for a second try. Can they get in in the corner? Wow, how close is that? Tell you what, if Herman Davidov has scored a try, uh, he's done really well. Carlton Ali, he was a former winger, would understand how difficult it is. The way he's able to control his body and the act of putting this down is absolutely outstanding. Silly, silly is the one. From Samoa, down low, nothing wrong there. Ankles good, legs good. He's up in the air at the moment. He's fine. Can't see his right leg. Arm first arm. and left arm as well. There, Gavin. Arm on the ground first. No try. Yeah, I think that left arm hit the ground just before he dotted it down. So uh, it's going to be a line out and the throw-in belonging to Samoa. A little bit of a clash at the moment. Yeah, Mialoi with uh, the throw-in from our honour club. So Russia, a real opportunity here to snake another try, but uh, they've given away a penalty for holding on on the deck. Quickly through the hands there of Lia Lolo. Good use of the width of the field now. And really a clean pair of heels from Simone Toloa. Absolutely brilliant running from him. He didn't have to swerve. He didn't have to sidestep. He just used sheer pace. Great composure there on this Manu Samoa team. They've got a good turnover, only meters from their try line. They split it out wide to their speed. Finally, Samoa Toloa. Nice, low, strong, cruising run. 
from the number 10 in blue. Exactly what they needed for their own confidence, Gavin. Yeah, it's so so high. Also, given the fact that they, you know, they've had the two injuries with uh, Tua Tagaloa, who's uh, off the park, and of course Francis Iremia with that broken leg yesterday, which uh, is really the serious injury of uh, this tournament. But other than that, they're uh, looking to step up to the plate and really importantly to get the points on offer here in the Shield final. Sites of the waterfront and the port here in Cape Town. And he's managed, managed oh, it's a favourable bounce on that occasion for Sofalo. And uh, he's just slipped through. And that's two tries within a minute then for the Samoans. That's one thing they really can do, and that's score points in bunches. Within a minute, they get two tries. Yossi, Asofalo. It all came from the kickoff. Look at the competition here. They whack it down with his right hand. Us off all out in perfect position in the supporting role. Once again, just highlighting the importance of the kickoff. Yeah, Christmas time then for us off all out. And uh, they call him the excitement machine. And, uh, that's maybe one of the reasons why. <laughs> Does he call himself that? What's going on? <laughs> well, you know, everyone's got a nickname, and he said, well, that sounds like a good one. Let's go with it. Mialoy has uh, not got it well. It's gone 10 meters now. He has a Strushko. Little pop pass on the outside. And I'll tell you what, there's no substitute for real pass in the field. Hey, good job, Blue, play on! There's a real opportunity that's uh, been turned around now. And uh, Sela Sela then, upfield. Slight of hand there were the Samoans. Really very good handling from them. And it's another big chase. I'll tell you what, at the end of a tournament, you, you really are quite tired. You don't want to have to make those he searching runs. Pick up from Hunopa Nopoa. Out from Lialolo. And it's a little chip and chase from the excitement machine. Might have overcooked that one, though. Oh, I thought he might have a go at trying to pick it up. Yeah, look. Just the right foot. Bit of power. The great vision initially on the fly to put that ball through. And he knows straight there he's kicked it too hard. Too hard. So nine points the difference then. And, uh, Samoa looking on course for a potential victory here with the Shield final. Bearing in mind, of course, that uh, there are four competitions in the Sevens Rugby. So four finals that will be played. This is the first of the four. There's the bowl, the cup, of course, the shield and the plate. And that kick downfield will go into touch and uh, it'll be a half-time call then. And, uh, the Samoans really perhaps quite happy with the fact that they've uh, got that nine point lead. Nine points is not a lot in sevens rugby. They'll be hoping that it's enough to give them a real go in the second half. 14 to 5 it is to Samoa against Russia. Well, it does look like uh, the Russian team are really in the zone. And uh, if they were looking at the stats that we have uh, available to us, Carl, they would have seen that uh, six missed tackles by the Samoans, which they won't be happy about. Another six balls that they've given away to. I think the Russians have actually played a lot of rugby. Sevens, to be fair, yeah, they've got on the outside of the Samoan team. They've been in the right end of the field, but they haven't taken their opportunities. 
for one reason or another, whereas the Samoans have had two opportunities and have taken two tries. So it's two tries to one then in favour of right. Samoa at the moment and a nine-point advantage. So Trishkin with the, the kick in. Taken uh, by Leo Lolo. Well, an early score here will put real pressure on the Russians if the Samoans can uh, get across the whitewash. Back comes uh, Solia. Looking to try and get that pass through the hands. Difficult man to bring down. Just shows the value and the importance of first time tackling. You're going to remain up. You can't fall. Great leg drive there by Solia. You're going to stay on your feet. Just willing someone to support him off his hip. He was holding the ball out for a long time. And watch this kid on the ball. Yeah. Given yeah. Phoenix yeah. not tall enough for it. Yeah. He's got some great footwork. Another youngster based in New Zealand. Chip and Chase is the call, and uh, it just shows the value uh, once again of accurate kicking. Kicking has a place in Sevens rugby if you can do it in accurate fashion. And Tila Mialoi certainly did that. I noticed over the last couple of tournaments, Kevin, that teams a lot of the time play seven up in the line. That's why the defense is so hard to breach, but if you're able to execute, as you say, positive kicks, and this is the end result of it. Great recognition there by Tia Mialoi, realizing that Russia didn't employ a sweeper. The conversion is good, so uh, the lead is up to 16 points which of course means that uh, it'll have to be a three try a three score from uh, the russians to get into contention it's amazing sometimes how statistics can blur games too if you consider some oh we'll look at the stats after this game so we were not that great with a lot of the statistics but we made use of the chances that came our way They cross the 10. Well, that might just have okay, uh, the crossed the 10 meter line, so it'll be a throw into the Russians. You're very fortunate there for Mani Salmore. They're just bouncing over. This 10. is the opportunity the Russians need. Full position for them. He has to be on the mark here. Shoot can with his throw. Number 10. They can score What's this Russian on? team. They get it Sorry? to the right edge of the field. Okay. Time on. Time is off, okay? Right, time on. No, exactly. Well, Shishkin's uh, pass unfortunately going wide, and Seller Seller says, I oh, know, let's make sure this bus is also full. So, uh, a relatively easy try then for the captain of Samoa. Well, inaccuracy at the set piece here. Spoke about him being accurate, and he misses his jump. He's still on the way up when the ball goes over him. Shishkin won't be happy. Seller Seller with a dummy, the left hand fence, so powerful. Is the Samoan captain. I think now this might be a bridge too far for the Russians to get back in this final. Well, we've seen in all the games that they've played, even where they have been thumped on occasions, they, I'm just going to say, an 80 minute side. <laughs> They're a 14 minute side. They uh, will give absolutely everything right to the death. So, can Tila Miloy get this thing on stream? He's kicking in as. Uh, been a, a little shaky at times. Seller Seller up for it with a toe down. That's very well played that by the Russians. And uh, they can keep going. Shushkin. Little inside pass. And it's scramble defense really for for Samo at the moment. Look to the field sort. Now the big chase. Going through uh, on that occasion was Edward Filatov. And they might just have got in. Let's have a look at the assistant referee. He flags down. See if you on touch before the grounding. So you're not sure. See if you on touch before the ground. Okay. okay. See the referees really trying to make sure that uh, you know 100% sure of what it is, but they also don't want to have to go for the video review unless they have to. So fine, eh? That's fair enough too. They want to make it right, especially in the final. The left knees are right there. Jeez, is he touching the chalk there? Knee hit the line before grounding. Yeah. 
Most unfortunate, wasn't it? it was a real, real. Just a, a couple of millimeters, perhaps, in it. And it'll be a throw in for some a big test for them, too, if they get this line out right. Silicella with the, the jump. No, the Russians have taken it away. Good tap down. Just kidding. Doing really well yeah. there. Opportunity Wait, for Ostrushko again. This time, for making sure that it goes out wide. Just moving a little bit laterally on that occasion, the, the hey, Russians, man, but they've got an side. extra man right now. Can they make something of this? Well, the final pass not going where it should Manage have gone. Over. And this is where you can get punished by a team. The Pacific Island is a particularly good on counter attack. And uh, it's going to be a pretty easy run in here. Lydia Loro. <laughs> I tell you, there's a run he probably didn't want to do. <laughs> Not at this time of the competition. Oh dear, 70 meters. I'm going to have to sprint. Boy, just showing his fitness levels though. Leo Lolo been a monster in kickoff time for the Samoans. This really did deserve a try. You can see it's just on his right shoulder. He had to reach back. Dmitry Shushkin, if he puts it in his chest, that's a try for Russia. Leo Lolo, just a nice, easy 80 meter job for him. Oh, well done and a good finish that, but it came from a, an error from the Russians. Tell you what, with Leo Lolo playing, yeah, way, boys. it's great that Lola Louis is not playing too bad. <laughs> Getting their two names mixed up. Number seven. He, of course, one of the, the great players of uh, Samoa, over a seven. thousand points that he scored. We remember him, Rapina Lavasa, Tim Nanai, Williams. There's been some really great players that have been produced over on. the years by the Samoans. Going on, Sevens. Yes. Sevens going off. So they're just uh, trying to work out now Nine who's going off. off and who's coming on. I think that uh, Samoa said that uh, Danny Tusita We're playing on. is uh, going to come onto the pot. No, he's not. So the kickoff then from Jack Saina bear in mind of course that their bench is depleted with Back those two injuries Samoa that is it's a high tackle there on uh, Danny Tusitala well, here they come the fresh legs can certainly help matters here for Samoa and in the case of Lafayette Bar, he has got try number six for Samoa Denny Tusitala there reacts the quickest from a high shot off from Dushki. See him here, just a little late cut. And left by Elliot Baha. Lazy, very tired tackles as you'd expect after two long days. High competition from the Russians, but outplayed in this one by a very confident Money Samoa team. The Samoans are definitely going to be the shield winners in this competition. Just uh, a couple of seconds left. And uh, a solid lead at the moment of uh, 40 points to five. And soon hear the Hutu in the background. Let's have a play that uh, by the Samoans, making sure that it went the five meters. Now the long pass. And what better would have been if the captain could have scored the final try. Knocked on there. But he spilled the ball. Yeah. It gives the Russians an opportunity to pick up some points, maybe get into double figures. Well, most of the ball in the second half has belonged to Samoa. They've controlled it well. And uh, they've scored the six tries in the process. So that will be it then. And uh, Samoa, I I with the the six ground tries to one, will feel confident and comfortable and very tired <laughs> with their victory. No, 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 no. They were difficult. They were difficult. They were fair enough. Oh, we saw Superman yesterday. There's Super Lady in uh, the audience. It's wonderful to see so many people dressed up. Of course, there's a, a strong tradition of wearing a replica shirt in South Africa too. And that's why you will see many 
Springbok jerseys and in fact a lot of All Black jerseys too because there's a lot of All Black support or support for New Zealand should we say in South Africa so uh, we're waiting for the build-up to the uh, presentation